What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, we have a little stash update video. I haven't done one in four or five months, so I figured now is a good time to do one before it gets too big. It's actually not big. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But, I'm going to show you what, what I got. Um, some of these builds I might get to this year, because I have some of them I kind of I really want to do. So, let's go ahead and show you what I got. So, the first one I got um, was the Val Porsche 911. Uh, this is actually a really cool car. Um, these classic Porsche 911s, they're super car. I believe this is a 1988, I believe. I'm not sure. But somewhere around there, um, these Porsches, are, uh, I don't know. I think they're super cool. Revell had this kit out before, and then I think they stopped making it, and then they got bought out, and then the new owner bought a new version, which is this version. And it's, I believe it's the same kit they had out before. Um, it was before it was a blue box art, I believe. So, um, but now it's like a silver. So it's very cool. Revell did bring out two versions. There's this one, which is a coupe version, which is what I like. I love the hard top versions. It's my personal my, my my personal opinion, my personal preferences. But it does come with a full engine, so super cool, full in interior. So that's wicked cool. And then Ravel also did bring out um, a Camargo version, which is a red version. Me personally, I don't really care about the the Camargos. It's my I don't know. It's it's what I like and what I don't like. I, me personally, I do like the coupe version. I love the hard top, the Camargo Porsche back then. I don't know. It's I don't know. I don't really like the style of it. I don't know. I prefer the hard top. So very cool. And I can tell Ravel is going to do changing up the. Um, the packaging a little bit i can tell they're just going they're just taping the box now they're not using the um the plastic film anymore which is you know i'm okay with it you know because the box is shiny enough you know you don't really need plastic film over it <laughs> so, so that's the first one i got on uh, this one i got a hobby shop i just think this kit is super cool uh which is the amt 56 chevy impala i think it's pretty cool Nice little box art, you know, and that's just simple enough, you know, the picture of the bar, picture of a car, and just black, or black, white background, boom, you're good enough. But no, you can do this three different ways. Um, there is a little wider version, which I don't really care about. That's just looks a little weird to me, but hey, some other people might like that. This is actually very cool. It's a racing version, so I believe you just cut out the fenders, put on those big tires in the back, and then missing bumper because this is like a dirt racing car. You know, it's meant for racing on the dirt. And that is actually pretty cool. Then I also like the stock version. I love the stock Impala back then. Very cool. I love that. I love that blue. I mean, that's that's actually wicked cool blue. So, but I'm not sure what way I'm gonna take it. And there's the parts back there. Very detailed kit. I mean, you got your exhaust. You got your. Uh, I believe you got your um, your um, axle separate, which is a good plus. I can find it, but it's not it's not molded onto your chassis. Yes, let's see. Very, very cool. You get your engine in there. So, a lot of parts in here. It looks like it's pretty detailed. Oh, there's an axle. So, very cool. I'm not sure when I get to this, but I do have a couple plans for this build. Um, I do want to build it like a stock, because that, that stock looks absolutely just stunning. But I also like this one because my local hobby shop, if you know what, my local hobby shop, Small Dungeons RC, which is where I actually got this kit from. Um, I'm thinking of doing um, this version because they do have a like a dirt racing car in their in their shop, not like this. It's it's like a normal car kind of deal. I'm not sure what it is, but um, I'm thinking of doing this version, painting up like probably this color type of deal, probably like an orangey color. And then I do have um, the company where I can print out and print out their logo and put on there because they don't have um, a model of their logo on it. So I might do that because I know the owner. The owner's super nice. He knows me. And all the workers know me, and I think I might do one of these for them. You know, put in the case and you know have their own model because they haven't. Because this year, early this year or late last year is when they start selling model kits because they you know moved and expanded and you know they get a lot of customers buying model kits, which is super cool. So I might pick up another one. This one I might do for them. I'm not sure, and then I might pick up another one because I really want to do the stock. You know the that version I mean that just looks really stunning but we'll see when I get to it this one I got off a of mega hobby um, it was on sale 
the uh, this one. This is actually a very cool car from Mobius Models. Um, I've been wanting this kit for a while now, and I finally got it. Um, these cars are so cool. Um, it has a full engine stuff, obviously interior, chassis, so wicked cool. Um, I'm not sure. No, there's no engine detail, but there is a really cool engine model in there. I really want to build. So, and this car just looks stunning. I don't know what it is, but I think this car just looks really cool in person. I think I've seen this in person at a couple of car shows this year, and it's a really stunning car. I absolutely love the body style, and it just looks it just looks really cool and classic. So, um, Mobius or my hobby had this kit on sale, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna snag it. You know, okay, very cool kit. Been wanting it for a while, and I finally got it. So wicked cool. So I got that one. Not sure when I get to it, but hopefully soon. Um, I had a swap meet early this year, I believe in March. March, I believe it was, it was March. I'm not sure when, but I snagged this kit because I've been wanting this kit. This kit is heavy. If you don't have this kit, this is probably one of the most heaviest kits I've ever hold um, for a car. <laughs> car. Um, the Dodge um, uh, Daytona uh, car. I mean, this is a heavy box. I cannot believe how heavy this thing is. This is, I know, how many parts in this thing? 201 parts. That is, in, that's probably the most parts I've seen in any car kit. There is a lot. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to open it because I know that quite right now I'm not going to get it in the box because of Vell, all these companies, like, like Mobius, all these companies, somehow they're master packaging boxes because you get it open, take everything out and put it back in, you're not going to get a box ever closed again. So I'm not going to attempt opening it. But I, I don't know what is in here, but there is a lot. Obviously, there's two different engine options. You can do different cars. You can do street or the race car, the, to the Daytona car, different wheels. They've been exhaust, but it feels like there's a lot more than in here than just just two different engine details and wheels and just, so, this is heavy. I cannot believe how heavy this thing is. Wicked cool. So snagged this for twenty bucks at the uh, swap meet, and the guy didn't want it anymore. It's like shoot, you know what? I don't take down for hands. So I took that and I didn't want it. I'm not sure if who makes this Ravel. This is Ravel. I'm not sure why it doesn't say Ravel. It's definitely with bell packaging. I, I don't know, um, but um, I, I don't, I'm not sure they're still, they're still making it because I haven't seen any hobby shops had it in stock for a while. So, but since I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm snagging that. I just can't believe how heavy this thing is. This is, I mean, it has to weigh at least six or seven pounds. I mean, easily. It is ridiculously heavy. Um, back at the hobby shop, my local hobby shop, Small Addictions RC. This kit is very cool. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. The 53 forward pickup. This is actually very cool. You can do it three different, yeah, three to one. Uh, stock, custom, or um, service. Which there's the service version, which you can do like, a, you know, like a company owns like a garage. You know, it does come with tools and a jack. So that's very cool. And then I believe, oh, here's a bunch of parts. Yeah, you do get two different engine options custom engine, stock engine. Welding kit, tools, uh, CB radio, um, bumper options, grill options. There's three different grill options. Here's your suspension. Um, sorry about my phone. Um, different mirror options. I mean, there's there's a lot of options in this kit. I'm not sure how many parts in here, but there's <laughs> there's a lot. So I, I really want this kit, and I think it just looks too cool. So I went ahead and picked it up. So. Decals, engine, you yeah, like two engine options, very cool. So I'm not sure what way I'm gonna take this, but I, I've been wanting it for a while. So I went ahead and snagged it. It was actually on sale. It was bigger for three bucks. I got it for twenty five. So five bucks off. Hey, five bucks, five bucks, you know. So look at look at cool. I got that one from my local hobby shop. Another one at my local hobby shop. I tell you, it's really it's really called a small addictions for a reason. It's actually called Big Addictions. It should be called Big Addictions because they're bigger now. <laughs> but this one I've been wanting. I haven't had it. Been, been, been wanting it for a long time. I've never got a chance to get it. Finally snagged it. I, I did order this kit off Amazon, but the guy never shipped it. I was like, you know what? F it. So I'm lucky my hobby shop had it in stock. And this is very cool. Again, another heavy box. These Mobius kits, 
I can't tell you. These, every single Mobius kit box is just too heavy. Not too heavy, but you know, they're heavy. I mean, you just come with a bunch of spare parts. But obviously this is the 4x4 custom cab F-150. 66 is actually a year my mom could actually be born or born so it's very cool um, but yeah there is the engine a very cool engine you got the chrome or the gold valve covers uh, again 4x4 so you do have your transfer case and all this fun stuff I believe this is the second 4x4 kit Mobius has I believe they're bringing out another version it's a lifted version I'm not sure when that's coming out I did see that somewhere uh, but I do have the other 4x4 version, which is the other one, um, I believe it's F-150, I'm not sure. It's like a reddish uh, or box. But this is very cool, I've been wanting this one for a long time, and finally just, uh, oh, finally snagged it, and very cool. I love these Mobius truck kits, they're just, they're, they're stunning trucks, they build up so nice, and they're just, they're just too cool. Keep it going with the trucks, I did pick up another... 66 Chevy Fleet, so I pick up from Lavelle. I did build one a long, long time ago. That was when I started building models back in 2018. So, um, you know, that one, I was still beginner, and, you know, I kind of want to do a better version, a much, much better version. So I picked this one at my hobby shop again. Um, so it was only 20 bucks. You know, it's an older, a little bit older kit. I can't, not sure when it came out. 2015, so it came out before I started getting to model building, so. But, yeah, it's a very it's a very detailed kit. I built it before. I never, it built up very good. Um, I did build it as the farm, I believe. So, because I was, you know, <laughs> beginner, you know, building things box stock, so. But this one, I have a really cool plan. One of the guys in the community, I'm not gonna say who it is, but he did give me um, a 3D print model for this kit, which is a full chassis interior in the engine i believe and basically i'm going to use is the body the clear parts and the you know the bumpers and grills and stuff so um if you know who it is you know who it is because he did he did do a video i believe like a couple days ago uh, last week or so so um that's what this kit's gonna be for i, I didn't buy that just for this for that reason because i want to i want to get it just because i want to build another one but he sent me the files he goes dude i got a file for this kit i was like <laughs> shoot i'm all in so you're gonna have to wait and find out on that i'm not i might i might get to it this year i'm not sure because i'm really itching to do it now since you sent me pictures in the in the um file and stuff so i saw you i still have yet to print it but it's gonna be wicked really cool so stay tuned speaking of our pickup trucks we're gonna continue with the pickup trucks the older ones i had to pick up this the 73 37 for pickup uh, two and one that uh, Ravel bought this kit out again. So super cool. Ravel had a, had a couple versions of this kit, but they brought it back out. So I love this kit. This kit is so cool. There's tons of ways you can do it. Like just like the uh, Model A Roaster, Model A Coupe, you know those type of kits. This this these type of trucks, you know, there's so many ways you can build it. So I might even get another one in the future. So there's 162 parts in here. So that's pretty insane. This kit, this box is not as heavy, so I'm really surprised about that, but you can do a stock or you can do like a custom. There's two different grill options, engine, um, you know, heads options, you know, for your air tanks and stuff. It does come with a surfboard, so that's pretty cool. And then, you know, there's there's tons of different ways. I know, I remember Dr. Cranky back in the day, he, he loved this kit, um, so he bought a whole bunch, but... There is actually tons of ways. There's you can put in a different engine if you want to. I might put in the, I might step in a different engine. Who knows? But you can do like a wrap rod, a custom. You know, there's there's this truck is just it's just too cool. So since we since I saw we're about bring it back out, I was like, yeah, I have to get that kit. So I got that kit also at my local hobby shop. Um, so like I said, I'll do this one. I might pick up a couple more in the future because there, like I said, there's just so many ways you can do this kit, and it's just. Um, it's just unbelievable how many different ways you can do it. So, we got that one. Two more, guys. <laughs> two more. You can call this a lot or not. Who knows? You can let me know in the comments. These next two also, my local hobby shop, Small Addictions RC. Um, they did get the new the new next-gen J, uh, JR models. Um, NASCARs. So, 
this is actually very cool. I'm actually really surprised how fast JR got these kits out. I mean, this is a 2022, uh, you know, next gen race car, and JR brought them out in 2022. That's how that's how crazy these technology are to make these kits these days, guys. I mean, literally, Tamaya, Ravel, JR, even. I mean, they're they they can literally take a, a 2023 car right now. And they can bring out that kit late, late this year or early next year. That's how technology is on making these model kits. So that's why they're a little more pricier. That's why you know a typical kit these days is about thirty bucks, which is is I me personally I think it's still kind of cheap. Um, I know back in the day they were you know they used to be twenty bucks and then you know there were ten bucks and five bucks you know, but thirty bucks is about your average kit these days, twenty five to thirty to forty bucks. You know but it's just how it is but it's just technology is just growing on these kits and how fast they're bringing them out i mean this is a 2022 nascar and they bought it out if this was like 10 years ago so say like it was you know 2012 and they bought out a 2012 nascar kit that kit probably wouldn't have been out for another 10 years because the te technology has grown and grown it's just crazy it's just crazy how fast they're bringing out these kits so super cool so i got the carl larson 2022 corvette or <laughs> chevelle um, corvette chevelle uh, camaro zl1 and then there's not many pictures no there's no pictures there's just other versions they have out already so super cool they got a car chase l1 then camaro ones so very cool um, I, this is a full in, full kit engine interior and chassis even though the chassis on these next gen cars they're not much to see under it because it's really all skip plate um, so that's one major difference with these cars is all skip plate there's no you know you can't see the rear axle or anything which i do believe i do i do believe you do have a rear axle here you're just not going to see this but this is a full kit so super cool so carl larson he was bombing the races last year 2021 he won like i think he won like six or seven not maybe 10 races last year i mean he was bombing he only won one or two this year so far so but if they pick up another one and another guy who is bombing this year's races he won three or four so far this season which is pretty insane and that is of course chase elliott chase elliott i i, I like chase elliott he's a really cool guy he did replace jeff gordon Back day, back in the day, he was number twenty-four, and then he switched to nine. So, but he's now nine, and Chase Elliott. I do like Chase Elliott. He's he's a really cool driver, and he's actually really cool. Um, like I said, um, I'm not sure it doesn't shows it on this box. No, it doesn't. But they do have the normal version of his car, which is the Napa. But that's pretty cool. My hobby shop did have a Napa one, but um, they had Hooters version. The, the Hooters one is pretty cool. Um, so I, I just like the delivery, the, the uh, style of the car. It's just, I mean, not the style, but you know, the decals and stuff. I think this is pretty cool. Hooters. So I did pick up the Hooters one and very, very cool. And there's this car right there and then there's that car right there. Of course, I had a Chase Elliott one or I had a Chase Elliott, but the Carl Morrison one. So very cool to get to 2022. So very, very cool. The Hooters is very cool delivery. Um, but yeah, very cool. <laughs> Hooters. If you if you if you if you know, look at the um, uh, owl's eyes. Tell me what that represents. I think you should know what that represents. But I'm not gonna say it on camera. But other than that, guys, that is it. A lot of kits. Yes, a lot of older muscle cars and trucks. Um, like I did say, I do want to. I do want to do older trucks and the older muscle cars for the rest of a year after the Porsche 911 uh, from Alpha Model I'm building right now, but I did tell Splash Paints, like I said, I'm, sp I'm sponsored by Splash Paints, and I told him I do, I do want to do older cars for the rest of the, for the rest of the year. We should try to, and he goes, okay, perfect. So, after the Porsche, we're on to the older stuff, which I'm really happy about, because I do love building these older muscle cars and stuff. I know, I know this is not old, but I'm not gonna build this this year, because I, because I just did build two base cars. One race car is more enough, but two that's over limit for me. So I'm not doing these race cars or NASCARs this year. Maybe next year. But alright guys, tell me which one which kit of these 
ones I got is your favorite. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious and which ones you build. Let me know how it builds up. But all right, guys, that's pretty much about it in this video. But until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.